In this episode of Lesson 4 series, we are going to simulate the water gas shift reaction in order to correct the H2 to CO ratio to be at the value of 2 as required by the methanol synthesis reaction. From the gasifier we can see from the stoichiometry that the ratio of H2 to CO is about 3.7, which is much higher than the required value of 2. We are going to use the water gas shift reaction to produce more CO and reduce the quantity of H2, we will also use up some of the CO2. The water gas shift reaction is usually given in this direction, therefore, we are going to use it in the reverse direction as given here, which is the direction where hydrogen reacts with CO2 to form CO and water. This means that we will not need to add water to the process as this reaction will be producing water. So, we will therefore need to remove water somewhere downstream. The water gas shift reaction is a reversible reaction usually given in this conventional direction. It is reversible, which means that it will proceed in any direction until the equilibrium ratio of the products to reactants is reached. It is an equimolar and constant of volume reaction, which means that the number of moles of reactants is the same as that of products. Two moles react to form two moles. Therefore, the equilibrium of the reaction is not influenced by pressure. For reversible chemical reactions, an equilibrium constant is usually used to find the ratio of products to reactants at equilibrium. The equilibrium constant for the water gas shift reaction is traditionally expressed as the ratio of the mole fractions of CO2 and H2 to that of CO and H2O. We are going to use trial and error in CAMCAD to find the WGS reaction temperature that corrects the H2 to CO ratio to the required value of 2. Thank you very much for studying with Tutor.me Open College.
please click subscribe so that you are kept updated with new learning material as it is being updated. If you like this video, also, please click like so that the video is recommended to other learners such as yourself.